guys it is time just take a look really quick it is a gloomy rainy disgusting sunday morning right now literally the sun has not came out once today i also have this ginormous pimple that hurts really bad i have a pimple patch on it right now and i woke up with all these things occurring and i was like it's time today is the day that we do yet another huge closet clean out as you can see somehow my closet has managed to get to that state like it does in every one of these videos that I do where it is so unorganized there are things thrown about like how do I even find things in here I don't know I don't that's the answer and it's very overwhelming and I've been meaning to do this for a long time and you guys know I procrastinate a lot since I really have nothing better to do today and it's not nice out at all it's time to just sit down and do this like there's no better time but today and I know you guys like when I bring you guys along with me so that's what we're gonna do today together you guys always help me through it it's gonna be it's gonna be something I have two bins from my basement and a lot of the clothes in my closet are not clothes that I want to give away or like do anything with like I do want to keep them for my own like clothing collection but having them just sitting in this closet like not really being used that much is just a waste of space because I don't have that much functional space in here for my like everyday clothes so what I'm gonna do is the clothes that I want to keep and that one day I'll move out and I'll bring them to my new apartment and hopefully have a bigger closet I'm gonna put in these bins and store them like in my basement or something hopefully I can find room and then I also have two large garbage bags that I'm going to put clothes that I'm donating in because I already know there's so many clothes in here that don't fit me I don't ever reach for and that could be put to better use by somebody who would actually wear them you know so I have two bags for that and yeah I'm gonna try to be really tough on myself because I get attached to clothing I try to convince myself that one day I'm gonna need it when in reality I never use it and I never will actually need it and I want to make room for like my new wardrobe because I'm always growing and evolving and like my style is always changing so I think this is gonna be really good and healthy for me let's just hop right into it I'm gonna just start and get into the groove of it we'll figure out where to go from there I've only been through a few hangers and I'm already really struggling like everything I pull out I'm like but I can't get rid of this or like I can't I need to have this in my closet like no I need to just think if I have worn it then I can keep it if I have not touched it then it needs to go either in the bin or okay if there's one thing about me though is that I will always procrastinate I'm a procrastinator literally to my core ever since I was little ever since I was in school I would procrastinate everything and honestly I'm not gonna sit here and say like procrastinating is bad because for some reason it has always worked for me and like I've never like had any bad things happen from procrastinating or like had any like big repercussions like in school I worked better when I would like wait to the last second and then like study the night before the test or do my whole project the night before it was due like I would always do my best work kind of under pressure or like under my procrastination if that makes sense so like that's kind of why I've never broken out of the habit of doing it that's literally just how I am I will say when it comes to something like cleaning or certain things procrastination really is a short-term solution but it always ends up making the long-term solution harder to achieve if that makes sense I'll procrastinate cleaning literally like it's my day job and then everything will just build up and build up and build up and now my job is like 10 times harder because I could have just cleaned in the beginning you know what I mean I don't know 
It may not be the smartest thing in the world, but it's what I'm doing. I really am trying to be better though because if you guys watched my recent vlog, how I've been so stressed out and like not knowing where my life is headed and not knowing when I'm gonna move out, what I'm doing and how it's been a little bit difficult to live in this room since I'm very much outgrowing it. I decided that I would take matters into my own hands and I'm not gonna be so hard on myself. I'm just going to try my best to fix the things that make me uncomfortable in this room. And honestly, a big part of that was my closet. It was getting to the point where I would hate going in my closet. I would hate to have to find an outfit because everything is just everywhere. Like there's no organization to it. Like certain things don't even fit me the right way. Like it was just getting just not convenient. So I'm trying to take the first step and really, really organize this closet and have it be only clothes that I actually wear in it. <gasps> I'm sweating already, oh my gosh. But I think we're doing good. And it's, it's gonna be amazing. I really, really suggest if you've been putting off cleaning your room or cleaning anything, bathroom, literally your car, anything, keep this video on and do it. And we'll do it together and it's gonna get you through it and you're gonna be so much happier afterwards. Like I know I'm gonna be so happy at the end of today when I finally finish. And all of this is just done with because it's gonna just feel amazing. I would get up, get a fun little drink. I just got, I got myself some Starbucks this morning and just get to work. Don't even think about it. Literally just do it. <laughs> progress right now i just finished this entire side of like these racks so the top and bottom rack i completely took everything out and only put back in the things that i genuinely wear and can see myself like reaching for and it's already looking really good let me show you guys this top rack filled with only stuff that i actually wear and now there's like over half the rack left of space that i can add more things to and then this bottom rack is like a bunch of flannels and like cardigans and stuff like that. I genuinely do wear when it's like colder out. And I was really good with myself. Like I really took out stuff that like I was holding on to for no reason. And I was really good. So you guys should be proud of me. We have this bucket. We have one bin already almost filled up to the top of stuff that I'm going to save. And then this whole big bag is pretty much filled of stuff I'm going to donate. Um... So I'm feeling really good. The only problem is now I have this entire mess of hangers that I need to get out of my way so that way I can start figuring out this monstrosity of a mess. You guys have been through maybe like what, four closet cleanouts with me now? Or maybe it was like three. I don't know if this is my fourth, but I feel like this is like a fun little series that I have on my channel where like every six months we do one of these. And I love that you guys like them because like, I feel like it's a real bonding experience. Like this is pretty much borderline torture to have to like organize like a huge mess of just like clothes thrown about and like figure out the best way to store them like properly. So thank you for always being here and for clicking on this video and hopefully it like motivates you guys to also like get stuff done that you've been putting off because that's always what like pushes me to do it. I'm like, we need to do it together as like a family, you know? Life gets so busy and you just don't realize that like things like this build up and it's really important to have a clear space. I think that it's something that most people like neglect and like they're like, no, like that can't really make that much of an impact, but it really does. Like having a clean space help your mind feel nice and clean and organized. And it's really, it really is true. Like I promise you guys just give it a try because it always makes such a big difference. I'm gonna go through all of this and like kind of fold things, put them in piles until I can figure out how I wanna organize my little like sectional thing. And then we can like put the clothes back I don't know. This is like the hardest part, I feel like. It's gonna be so crazy when I do move out and like have a whole like new space where I'm like creating all these videos. Like, I wonder what my closet clean out videos will look like in the future 
when I have like a new closet. My goal is really to find a space that has obviously a lot of closet space because I really like to collect clothes and like keep things that like mean something to me. Like let's say there's an outfit that I wore on like a day that like I always want to remember and like maybe I won't really wear that outfit ever again but I do want to save it because it's like special to me. You know what I mean? I feel like I have a lot of clothing pieces like that because... I don't know I'm just like a sentimental person and like I look at things like that and I'm like I want to save it you know usually in these videos I will do a little Q&A segment so that way we can chat a little bit while I'm folding my clothes so I put on my Instagram story for you guys to send in questions that you've been wanting to know so as I fold I'm going to answer some of those this is a good one it says how did you learn to trust the process of your life please keep this anonymous of course I will keep all these anonymous but I like this question because I really want you guys to know that it's not an easy thing to do. Like, I know this is something I talk about a lot. Don't think that, like, I'm super good at this because I'm really not and it's not, like, I think it's one of those things where it's never gonna be perfect. Like, you're never gonna have the perfect mindset of just trusting the process of your life and, like, not worrying about the future. I feel like everybody worries about the future in some way they worry about their job they worry about their living state their family like everybody worries it's just like a normal human thing to do i think but a lot of the time i like to preach that you really do just have to trust that whatever is meant to be in your life is going to be no matter what like there's nothing you can do about it everything happens for a reason so you kind of just have to try your best not to worry it's almost like what's the point you know what's the point of torturing yourself of like constantly worrying about the future meanwhile you're missing the present because you're so worried about what you're gonna do next i feel like that comes back to like what i was talking about in my most recent video where it almost comes in waves where i start to really stress out and like worry about what is next for me at the end of the day you should be enjoying every single phase of your life and if you're sitting there worried about the next one like you're gonna miss the one that you're already in and you can never get that back so that is always what i have to remind myself i know for a fact 100 percent i'm going to look back at this time of my life like living in this room and you know still living with my family and i'm gonna miss it like a lot and it's gonna be honestly really sad to close this chapter even with the things i'm excited about whenever i start to spiral and like worry about the future i just take a step back and i'm just like let's just fully enjoy this chapter for as long as it lasts because one day it is going to have to end and you're gonna have to move on and like take that next step in life why am i worrying about it and rushing it and not enjoying every last drop of it you know <coughs> oh god this is a good one it says how do you get out of a slump i feel like this is very fitting because a big way that i like to get out of a slump and like get me more motivated is to clean like even if you have nothing to clean find something to organize like even if it's like your bathroom drawer or like your hallway closet or something like that take on like a new project that's not that hard to accomplish like it'll take you like a day to maybe do it and like organize it make it like aesthetically pleasing and just accomplishing that small task or even if it is something that you've been procrastinating that's like an even but bigger bonus point taking on that small task and then like completing it and like seeing how good it looks afterwards almost like re-sparks that like motivation in you to like do something else and like get that feeling again from something else you've been wanting to do in your life or just like from your daily tasks that have been so mundane and like i don't know bringing you down if you do something small that is almost like kind of fun and like benefits you in a way that like now every time you go in that closet or now every time you go in that draw you like see like how cute it looks and like how organized it looks it'll just like bring you joy every time you see it and it'll just like motivate you to keep going Once i'm done with my closet whenever i wake up every morning and i go to like pick out my outfit i'm gonna be like so excited to like get dressed for the day and like go and do productive things i'm not gonna dread it i'm not gonna dread having to fold my laundry and put it away like i usually do and it's gonna just really help me get out of a slump that i've personally been in so if you've been feeling the same way as me maybe try to do that i don't know if it'll definitely work but it usually does work for me so I thought I would share.
this section is definitely the one that I was um, dreading the most. Like, this is just a jumbled mess, and I'm really upset about it, and I don't want to have to go through it, but lo and behold, we do have to, and um, <laughs> I will not be enjoying a second of it. Just wanted everyone that's tuning in right now to know that I am upset, and I don't want to be doing this, but we're in too deep, and we got to keep going and keep pushing. This is that... Like, what I was saying earlier about how procrastination is just a short-term solution that just makes your long-term solution harder to achieve. Um, yeah, this is what I meant. Because I have just been shoving clothes in here, and now we need to deal with it, and it's upsetting. Another question we have someone said how to deal with no contact right now but promise to meet again in the future I'm giving out a lot of advice today I kind of like it I think the best thing to do is if you haven't already remove everything in your life or your surroundings or whatever it is that reminds you of this person and especially on social media I know if you guys ended on good terms you don't want to like unfollow them you don't want to block them and that's completely fine like you don't have to do that but there is a little thing on Instagram where you can mute someone I think the mute button is the best thing that's ever been invented on social media like you don't have to cut ties and like completely unfollow them but muting them will just make sure that you don't see their stuff on your timeline basically ever and I'm telling you it's like a gift because out of sight out of mind is like my biggest slogan it's the best thing ever it really does help if you just completely are not reminded by this person I promise you it'll become so much more easier to form the habit of like just living without them start forming new memories and start forming your own identity without them and then you'll be so okay with yourself that if you do meet again one day in the future, you'll be so ready for it and like so amazing. almost there I do have a little ways to go um so I have on the floor right here you guys can't see I have a bunch of pants that I want to hang and I usually keep my pants like over here in this area you guys can't really see it but right now my pants section is covered by a literal mountain of sweats sweatpants sweatshirts a mountain from top to bottom like literally a whole mountain and it starts all the way at the ground so my goal is to get rid of sweatshirts and sweatpants that are either stained they don't fit me I don't wear as often ones that I can just you know let go of like you know those sweatpants that have seen better days you've worn them a bunch I'm always like getting new lounge wear so I'm gonna try to be really good about getting rid of a bunch because I really I can't even get to the clothes that are hanging on this side of my closet because of this mountain and it needs to really dwindle or else like I just won't be able to get in here and I really have so many pants to hang so that's my next battle that I'm about to tackle <laughs> The whole entire pile is now out of this space and right in front of me, which is so scary. This is literally up to my thigh of just sweats. And these are all the ones that I want to keep. Very upsetting because I thought I was going to be able to get rid of more, but I did get rid of a lot. So don't worry. Oh my God. See, like I miss this hoodie. This was like one of my favorite hoodies and it was just in the back of my closet and I couldn't even find it. So now I'm excited. 
I have a hoodie addiction like I just that's what it is at this point and I like to collect them and it really is breaking my heart to get rid of a lot a lot but I know that like they'll just get put to more use like I'm gonna give a bunch to my sisters I'm gonna donate a bunch like that also makes me feel better that like they're gonna be put to better use you know guys dare i say that i'm done my camera died so i just charged a little bit and i continued working on this side i just finished as you can see we still have a mountain of sweatshirts and sweatpants even after i hung a bunch up back here it's so hard for you guys to see let me show you with the flashlight but i hung a bunch of sweatshirts back here but we still have a whole tower at this point it's just something i'm gonna have to deal with like i have to just try and keep this as neat as possible i have no other way to store all my hoodies and sweatpants and like i said i like to collect them and i don't want to get rid of them i literally am getting rid of so many like i feel like it's almost embarrassing but let me just show you guys the pile that i'm getting rid of it's literally this entire bin that chair my bed and it was not easy like i love a lot of the hoodies that i'm giving away to like my sisters and everything and i'm just telling myself like if i really want to wear them i could just borrow it from them but i really really was hard on myself like okay you have to get rid of the old ones make room for new ones and it still is just a huge collection so i'm just i have to just deal with it looking around i think i'm completely done i want to do like a whole like reveal and i'll do like a little mini tour of like where i put everything it's pretty much the same organization wise as what i used to have but it just looks so much better and i really did get rid of so many things i have such a big mess behind me of all clothes that i'm just like getting rid of and doing stuff with so i'm gonna put those into bags get my floor cleared out and then i'll do like a little reveal for you guys i just need to like get this clutter out of my, out so i can even move like look at my floor right now it's just covered with stuff so even though i'm done with the closet my work here is not done and i'm so wetting like literally you can see the sweat on my face this has been a full workout this entire day a time check it's currently four o'clock so we've been on hour four of this and we're almost done we're almost at the finish line i'm really excited good morning guys it is the next day i spent all last night getting everything cleaned up i had four huge black garbage bags filled to the top of clothes that i am donating i got rid of so many things and i feel so much lighter i feel so good about it like just nothing makes me feel better than knowing that these clothes that have just been sitting in my closet are now going to be put to better use and like people are actually going to be able to enjoy them so happy that i'm done let me just say before i show you guys the finished reveal i know it doesn't look picture perfect and it doesn't like everything's not folded perfectly neatly because number one, I just don't fold good. And number two, the space that I have is not like as functional as like I'd want it to be. Like my shelves are very like small like this. So like I have to squeeze things in there to like really maximize the space. And like that just makes everything look a little messy, but like not too bad. So it doesn't look absolutely perfect, but it's perfect for me. I know that it's going to be a lot better better and easier for me to find things now hopefully i could keep it like this for a little while and we don't have to do another one of these it's not perfect but it's perfect for me let me show you guys my updated clean closet here we are over here on this clothing rack there's all like going out tops and like just like more cute crop tops stuff like that that i was able to hang like corsets just like you know nicer top down here we have just little like button up jackets light jackets like a few sweaters that i just keep here flannels cardigans literally just stuff like that here this little section i know it looks kind of messy but this is like my pajama 
little bin and area. I have a bunch of tote bags on this hook right here. These are all my tote bags. Then moving on to all the shelves. Starting at the bottom, we have underwear, socks, bras, tank tops. Like all of these are just like little tiny tank tops that I wear, just, you know. Here we have all my workout outfits. Then up here we have my little like crop tops and just like the casual little crop tops, like everyday tops. And up here I have all my long sleeve shirts. Like this is very messy the way I folded this, but like they were all like different sizes and like it was weird to fold. So we have all long sleeve shirts. Here I have a bunch of my like little sleeve thingies just folded. These are my like go-to jeans in this pile. Like all the jeans that I always am reaching for are right here. And up here I have all my parachute pants, all the colors that I have. Here I also have like my little cargo type pants. Then up here we have more jeans, more my denim, some colored denim. And then up here are like jeans that are like, I don't know, I don't wear them as often because they're like either like crazy colors or just like I wear those more in the fall. Then we have the huge mountain of sweatshirts and sweatpants like I showed you guys yesterday. Also have a bunch hung up that I can still reach now. Like before I wasn't able to reach this back. Thing, so that's good. And then here are all my pants. So yay, I am so excited. I love it. It's so much better. Literally just getting dressed this morning was so much easier and it made me feel really good. And I even made my bed too. Yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you for coming along with me and helping me through it. I don't know where I'd be without you guys. Like, I'm not even kidding. I'm talking to you that is watching this right now. I love you so, so much. Thank you guys for coming along with me. Until next time, <laughs> hopefully I can keep this clean and we won't have to have a next time, but until next time, thank you for coming along on my huge closet clean out. I love you guys to the moon and back. See you in the next one. Bye.